like to do an opening statement and then we will move on to questions. Um, obviously, uh, tale two halves a bit, um, you know, um, you know, unfortunately, um, second half we give up, um, you know, I don't know how many offensive rebounds in the second half. I think we give up eight. Um, they have three second chance points at half. They end up 16. And um, obviously we go a little cold shooting in the third. Um, you know, we hold them to 38 at half and then they score 30 in the third quarter. So um, that, that pretty much says it right there. Um, the game, um, you know, pleased with the start, but um, not good enough for the win. Thanks, Coach. We'll go first to Kent Youngblood. Was it was it something that they did or changed, or something that uh, that, that they adjusted to that kind of flipped the switch for them? Um, you, I think you guys were up sixteen late second quarter, and that's yeah. kind of when it started. Yeah. Well, I think you know when the game plan is working, um, you know they're they're a team that hasn't lost here in forty some games, so they're going to come out and they're gonna, we get, we punched them. Now you have got to still stick with the game plan and do what's working when somebody puts more force on you and somebody they punch back, you know, you, you there's a choice in every game. Um, there's usually one team that comes out and um, it kind of strikes first hits first. Um, we've gotten to the point where the last few games we've done that. Now it's the toughness to be able to respond when they put force on you when they start running in transition when they start offensive rebounding when they make a few shots. And we've got to find some mental resolve and some mental toughness to be able to effectively execute the game plan in both halves of the basketball game. And they, you guys, they got away from it a little bit. Maybe the shots got a little bit more quick and, and fewer fewer passes. Yeah, I mean, in the second half, um, you know, we end up, you know, shooting, uh, I think we were three for uh, maybe 16, 15, 16 from the three. Um, and so I'm, but I'm not, honestly, you know what, we give up 92 points. So I'm not really even, you know, concerned right now offensively. It was defensively what we have to do. You know, um, Monica Sinano um, has four at half. She finishes with 19, mostly on offensive rebounds and just imposing her will. Obviously Clark's a tremendous player, but you know, when you give up, you know, a wide open three in the first possession of the second half um, and then, you know, the floodgates open and a team like Iowa gets to get out and run and, um, and execute their stuff, we've got to be able to, you know, find a group and find some players that are going to come out and impose their will back when a team makes a run on us. Thanks, Ken. I'm going to switch to Tony Leibert for the next question. Uh, it's obviously easier said than done, but when uh, a player like Caitlin Clark, when she has 12 in the third quarter and she burns you for 37, how do you try to handle a situation like that typically? Um, you know, we switched up pick and roll defenses on her. We went some man, some zone. We switched up matches on matchups on her. Um, you know, you're talking about, uh, you know, a kid who's just um, you know, obviously a tremendous talent and unbelie unbelievable shooter. Um, but you know what? She scores 37. We rebound the ball better in the second half and we guard Monica Sinano and we, you know, we're talking about maybe a different story. So, you know, Clark, she's averaging 30. She's scoring 30 some on everybody. So, um, you know, she's got length. She's got a tremendous shot. So, you know, give her credit. She's worked hard at her game to get in this position. Um, so, you know, you can throw a lot of different things at her. Um, but, to, but to me, it was, it was everything else that happened in the second half. Obviously, you know, a kid gets hot and you, you do what you can. You try to mix it up on him. But um, there's all the other things that, that also resulted in the loss. And I'll check back in with you. Did you have other questions for Coach? Uh, yeah, I mean, when you kind of – walk away from this one I mean obviously there are some things you can show them that worked with what happened in the first half you know and then you show them the second half but I mean what, what is your I guess your overall overarching you know kind of comment going to be to your team about what happened here tonight that when we go away from what's working it usually doesn't go well for us and we've got to figure out how to come out of the halftime and come out with some energy and some discipline and some determination and, and play a second half the right way to play basketball the right way as we did in the first half. Time for a couple more for coach. We'll go back to Tony. 
Uh, I know after the Wisconsin game, you said that uh, Sarah had an injury in the second half. Um, was her uh, not being in the starting lineup related to that, or was that more actual game-based? Yeah, she um, was a game-time decision. Um, she didn't practice. She hasn't done anything basketball-wise since the Wisconsin game. And the only thing I can say about her is she's an absolute warrior, and she played through tonight. There's not many kids that would have played in the game tonight. Sarah did. She has 18. Um, shoulder probably got a little stiff after halftime, but you know, we got we got we you know if everybody you know if we if we continue to to have players with hearts as big as hers, we're going to be just fine. Got time for one more for Coach Kent? Did you have one more? No, I'm good. Thanks. Well, okay, thanks, Coach, for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you coming on. Thank you. We'll have uh, Caddy Sissoko and uh, Sarah Scalia joining us here momentarily. Hey, Sarah, thanks for joining us. We'll go ahead and uh, go to questions. Kent, if you want to start us off. Uh, two things. Uh, first, how were you able to get yourself on the court after what happened uh, against Wisconsin? And uh, second, what did you guys kind of get away from in the second half that had worked in so well in the first? Um, yeah, I think in the first half, we held them to one shot and uh, we rebounded pretty well. And um, in the second half, I think we just kind of started out slow and lost our concentration a little. And Clark started hitting shots, and then they kind of went from there. So we got to um, start doing better to start the second half. Sarah, do you want to answer about your uh, coming back from your, your injury at Wisconsin, too? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, I guess in Wisconsin, I separated my shoulder, and then before this game, I got an injection to like numb my shoulder and the pain uh, to play the game. So, yeah. We'll go to uh, Tony Leibert next. Uh, this was obviously one of your better games of the season. Uh, as a shooter, do you uh, does it like kind of click? Like, do you feel like you're in the zone, or do, does it just kind of come to you? I guess. 
when you're knocking down shots? Um, yeah, I think for sure when I start hitting a couple of shots, um, I kind of feel more into it and more confident with my game. But I think uh, the main thing is just um, starting out strong with my shot to start the game and uh, hitting early will keep me going throughout the game, I think. Thanks, Tony. We'll go to Hobie next. Sarah, whenever you have an injury like that, I mean, a shoulder is something that can really affect your shot. Um, what type of adjustments did you make to be able to play the way you did tonight? I mean, Tony mentioned that you scored 18. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously coming up to this game, I haven't been practicing the last couple of days. So I've just kind of like mentally been trying to stay strong and just kind of envision it. And then after like I got the injection and like it was numb, like right before I went out to warm up, um, it felt a lot better and you know, a lot more movement. So I thought that made me feel a little more confident in my game. So. Do we have any other questions for Sarah? Yeah, uh, Sarah, were you able to get through this one without any further injury? Yeah. Anything else for Sarah? Are you going to have to have that ice on there the whole bus ride back? <laughs> um, probably not the whole bus ride, but definitely to start. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. We appreciate you uh, taking the time. We'll have uh, Caddy on here in just a moment. Thank you. Caddy, thanks for joining us. We'll go ahead and uh, start with questions. We'll go to Kent Youngblood first. Yeah, Caddy, uh, you guys started out so strong. What, what, what in your mind kind of changed uh, after halftime? Did, what, what were you not doing in the second half that you'd done in the first? I think we got down our energy. I got down and we were like not that much focused as we did like the first half. So that really like hurt her like on the second half I would say. Can't go ahead if you got another one. Yeah. Once uh once Clark really got going, how hard is she to stop? She did a really good job on number twenty five. She was rebounding and knocking down some shots. So yeah, she she did good the time she was on the court. Other questions for Caddy? Hey, Caddy, what do you take away from this? Um, you know that if you kind of follow the game plan and play with some energy, what can happen in the first half? What What is your main takeaway from what happened over the course of four quarters tonight? Uh, I would say we need to really work on like how we are coming off the first half and really be focused and keep like going, you know, keeping like this for like good for us. Because we have a tendency to like, you know, have like our energy who goes down when we're going like into the second half. So we really need like to work on that as a team. Thank you. Any other questions for Caddy at all? Hobie, go ahead. Comment ça va? First off. Je peux parler un petit peu de français. What do you attribute some of those slow starts in the second half to with the energy and kind of coming out slow a little bit? Is it just something like just taking the break that just kind of stops the momentum a little bit? Yeah, I would say just like taking a break, you know, like maybe relaxing a little bit because we know we, we were like leading the score and everything. So we kind of like relax a little bit. And against a good team like Iowa, we, we really need to be like focused like from the beginning to the end. And yeah, we, we were just like relaxing a little bit too much, I would say. 
Any do you other? Think that, uh, sorry. Do you, do you think that's something that just comes with time too? Because you guys have this is a new team, a new group that's that's starting to gel together. Is that something that just takes time to get to that point? Um, I think it's come from within. As the players, we just need like to be focused, like you know, and just be like disciplined and really like to get in the game every time. So maybe it's gonna take some time, but I also think that individually we can really work on that and be good like next game against Penn State. Anything else for Caddy? Otherwise we'll let her go. Cool. All right, thanks very much for joining us, Caddy. We appreciate uh, you taking the time, safe travels back here to Minnesota and uh, we'll have recordings of video and audio of this uh, up on the virtual press box as soon as we can. Thanks everyone for joining us. Au revoir. Merci. <laughs>